Welcome to the Mythbusters After Show. Tonight's episode is Transformers. First question. Mm -hmm. You call your episode Transformers. Shouldn't you have robots in disguise in it? Oh, they're making a classic mistake between a brand name or trademarked name and a word. Yes. We're using the word to mean things that transform from one thing into another, like a car into a motorcycle. Yeah, baby! Yeah! No particular connection to a movie that may or may not be, like, similar to that name. Yeah. Uh, next question, was transforming the 2CV as fun as it looked, or was it hard work? Um, it was both. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a nice start. We really did not engage with the Frenchman's designs before setting out to do our transformation. And that process of starting as a blank slate, I mean, that's the most fun, because it's totally genuine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and also the initial sequence when we started to take it apart was just as easy as it looked <laughs> yeah, and, totally and fun is. at the same time. I have never right. seen a car like that before. You just yeah. open the door and pick it up. Twelve bolts, I think, boop, top comes right off. Yeah, uh, no other car like that, that's for sure. Uh, next question. Were you surprised at how easily the 2CV came apart? Yes, I think we've addressed that. Yes. Yeah, no, it's shocking. <laughs> Well, now we've got a place to sit and have some lunch. Yeah, you know, the the thing I have to rant here a little bit, and that is that uh, cars can be made to come apart that easily. And granted, that one is sort of a rattly, like, you know, unsafe thing at high speeds right. and all this kind of stuff. But cars can be constructed that way, and they can be done safely. They make cars to where it's like, you know, when when they do things like where or to change the oil, you have to remove the engine or something like that. Yeah, don't even get me started. Yeah, it's like, don't do that, car manufacturers. Years and years and years ago, uh, I stayed with a French family in Paris, and the, the 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 husband Terry took me out to the garage and showed me his pride and joy, his two CV, and he pulled out a little crescent wrench and he said, "This is my toolkit." All I need to repair this car. And I thought he was kind of joking. Um, no, he wasn't. That is all you need to work on this car. Yeah, and these cars were made for, I believe, originally having in rural areas, you know, like on farms and things, where you didn't have access to like a mechanic's shop in the neighborhood or something like that. You had to be able to repair them yourself. I think it's brilliant. Yeah. We love this car. I mean, it only went like 45 miles an hour, and, it's, <laughs> and like I said, it's probably very unsafe by our standards today. But Seven horsepower. It, it, yeah, it, it, it just is like the modern automobile manufacturers have something to learn from this car, believe it or not. Hmm. Next question. Your effort was designed to sit both of you on it, but uh, your tests had only one rider. Yeah. Do you think that having both of you would have cured the balance problems. Well, we did actually try to. We tried. It's, it actually it would have compounded the balance problems. The yeah. A, one person corrects and the other person feels something. It is like we end up, we, we see this a lot of times when we're handling stuff. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you, you start to fight each other. Yeah, and uh, that combined with the fact that this thing was nothing but rusty, sharp edges and hot metal everywhere. That's a motorcycle! We threw out the two passengers as, for safety reasons, primarily. Uh, stop that! Yeah, there were, are already far too many variables going on just <laughs> yeah. with one person trying to steer that thing. Uh, uh, two people made it worse. No, nightmare. Next question. How hard was it? for you to find one of these on the show. <laughs> that was pretty, particularly difficult. They're out there. Uh, in fact, I was surprised after we did this episode, I saw one go by the front of the shop on a trailer. Yeah. And I thought, are, is there, are we doing a pickup for that episode? Why is one of these that looks well, exactly like this is driving right by M5? <clears throat> That's weird. Yeah. Uh, there's a beautiful truck back 2CV that parks in your neighborhood, actually. I, I see them around San Francisco. They're devilishly expensive to make legal to drive in California, um, and you'll pay thousands and thousands of dollars for them, as we did for our beat-up junker. It's sad because they're like 150 bucks in France if you're there. Yeah. So it's very hard to find. And I, I'm sure there are some 2CV owners out there who are, like, sad watching us rip apart the uh, 
the thing. I'm sure there's an enthusiast group penning angry letters as we speak. Next question. All right. When you copied his design, the bike worked much better. Do you think there was any way it could have been rideable? Um, if we had been able to find a way to make that bike, oh, oh, there is one way we considered to make the bike rideable, but it would have altered the story completely, which would have been to put a third wheel on it. Yeah, that would have been the easy thing, but then it's not, uh, it's not really a, uh, you know... A, it's not a, a motorcycle. It, it, it's, it's a tricycle. A, it's a tricycle, I suppose. Yeah. Um, the, the other thing that could have been done would have been to, you know, hey, say, have unlimited tools and materials that, you know, like, you know, we, right, sure, where, that, where you would end up with just the engine and maybe just the wheels or right. something, and the rest is uh, other materials. That we talked in. about making a powered sled with it, that basically you could kind of operate it like a chariot, which also would have been potentially possible. Um, but as a motorcycle, we tried. We tried all day out there on the runway, and we couldn't get this up on a balance point in a way that was stable, in a way that was safe, in a way that we didn't feel was going to take our legs off and tip over at any second. Yeah, and, you know, it, it was about what the guy did, you know, and he didn't, he didn't do those other things as far as we could tell. We were trying to work within the spirit of yeah. what, what the guy actually did. Uh, okay, next question. You didn't use photos for the 2CV build, but you did for the floating bike. Why use photos for one and not the other? Oh, uh, we could have done that. We liked the idea of actually tackling two different stories in those two different ways within the same episode. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Next question, why did Adam tip over in the pool? Did he just slip? I tipped over in the pool because I took my attention off my center of gravity. I felt so confident on the boat, I sort of like, I took my hands off the wheel and the wheel turned, and by the time I realized I was losing my balance, it was too late. Yeah, that's one of the th inherent problems with that two separate sets of pontoons thing, because if if you turn it, uh, like the the, uh, uh, the the front pontoons can swing over to the side and then you're unbalanced. Uh -oh. You create this uh -oh. hole in your center of gravity that's pretty easy to find. <laughs> yeah, one thing that, uh, that I think we didn't comment on, on the actual uh, sort of trial of those things was that uh, uh, when you got your bike into the water more quickly, here we go. And I was Stand like, oh, back. I gotta, I gotta get going, or he's gonna be long gone. Uh, I just got on the bike without having spread the back ones. Oh, I didn't realize that. And and, uh, and because it, it, you know, it's a little fiddly. You have to yeah. line up the pins and realized, wow, well, it seemed like it, it's yeah. reasonably stable. So I just went. For it. And that was fine. Yeah, but I was I was very uh, careful about steering with yeah. the thing because I realized mine could do the same thing if I wasn't paying attention. Oh yeah. And uh, what you don't know is uh, one of our crew members uh, was getting some pickup shots and and uh, and got on my version of the bike and was was riding around with it and uh, he also let his attention lapse and he. He, uh, he went... Uh, Ass over tea kettle, I believe, is the phrase. Yes. So, let's see. Uh, next question. Correct me if I'm wrong, but haven't I seen those pontoon things that Jamie used before? Yes, you have, sharp-eyed viewer. They were part of our torpedo episode. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Jamie just broke out the old steel form and made it work again. That's one of my favorite tricks, watching metal inflate like that. And, uh, Crazy. It's, <laughs> it's perfect. But it's a, it's a nice quick way of making those things. Um, next question, either of you seem to comment about the fact that your feet got drenched. Surely that's enough to bust this as a commute vehicle. If all, if you had to get to work on a vehicle like that, because you had to cross a few hundred feet of water, you, know, you could wear water shoes. Yeah, you wear, a, well, like I did. It Roll up your pants. I, I, I was wearing those, uh, those the, uh, the yes, sandals. sandals and, yeah. and I worked, Mandals. It would work just fine. Last question. Cyclists yes. often shave their legs. Have you ever shaved yours for any reason? Um, um, yes, both of us have shaved our legs. Did I? Well, yes, we did for Mythbusters when, when we got I... painted with gold paint. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These things are kind of, they squeak when I walk. Oh, I guess so. Um, in high school gym, I was accused of shaving my legs because my blonde hair wasn't that visible. And, you know, they seek out weakness and they tried to make it seem like I was a leg shaver. But I wasn't. 
Didn't yeah. shave my legs until I had a TV show. So suck it, haters. <laughs> so yeah, we we had to do that. But uh, as a as a general practice, uh, or in fact. Ever, ever. Uh, outside of the television show, no, uh, I don't believe. I think the only of us. parts of our bodies we actually shave are our face. Yes. All right. Thanks for joining us. That was a really, 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 really fun episode for us to make. Thanks for your questions. Good night. See you next time.